It's day 18, we're almost there. So have you written your goals for 2021 or the next five years? If not, I suggest you do it. Allow yourself to dream big, to see beyond our current circumstances. No, sure, we can fi accomplish our dreams on our own, but with God, our vision becomes different because He sees in us something that we don't see in ourselves. And when we are able to fit God's plan into our lives, that is a promise. Vision becomes a promise. And you, we can't do it on our own. Proverbs 28, 29, 18 at KJV says, that's a King James Version, where there is no vision, the people will perish. The message translation even says, if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. If we lack spiritual vision, we fail to experience all that God has for us. We stumble through life without a purpose or hope or direction. And speaking of direction, I brought myself this. A map, back in the days before Waze and Siri. Those who know, know. This will give you a direction from point A to point B. So for this journey, I'd like to give you some pointers. Be prepared. Read the word. Know your scripture. Know what God says, who you are, and what he has for us. Know his promises for us and stand firm on those promises. Two, since we already wrote our goals, keep journaling. Write down your desires, your, your, your goals, and listen right down to what God is telling you along the way. It's almost like taking those selfies and those pictures when you're on a trip. Second, surround, oh, third, surround yourself with a good vision squad. This is important. This would be family and friends who will encourage you, push you, and pray with you. I'll get back to that later. Allow God to interrupt us. Sometimes he may take us on a detour and we're like, seriously, I wanna take the shortcut, God. Can I just take the freeway? No, trust his plan. Sometimes we may get stubborn and take our own route anyway. And then we end up in a pothole and we get stuck. What do we do? We call AAA. Those angels, those advocates, the army, the squad, the vision squad that I told you about, they will throw you a lifeline and get you out of that rut. It's important. Also, listen. When God tells you to move, you move. Movement is necessary. You do, you create, you build, you inspire, you serve, you become. It's a verb. You think if I'm here and I need to go there and I don't do anything, I'll get there? I don't think so. God is our track. We gotta do this with Him. Next point, be patient. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Remember those kids in the back of their car? Well, sometimes the journey will take longer than we expect and it becomes difficult and challenging. We have to believe that God is working even when we don't see any results. And we have to keep saying to ourselves, I can do this through Christ who strengthens me. Next point, be joyful. Smile, have a good attitude, enjoy the journey. Remember how you would like sing your heart out when you're driving? Well, even the Israelites sang some Psalms during their long journey. And I will end with this verse, Psalm 32, eight in the NIV translation. I will instruct you and teach you in a way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Isn't that wonderful? So friends, leave your worries, lift it all up to him, be with him during your journey and enjoy it. I wish you well.